Howdy. Welcome to Yoke Club, where comedians sit around discussing running yokes. Brought to you by comedy duo Scary Strangers, a.k.a. Ruhal Walla and Tom Stevenson. This episode features Wandy, Alex Reynolds, and Eski Escandor. Take a peek behind the scenes of how comedians turn an idea into stand-up comedy. Let's go! Basically, when Chinese cook meat, we also have a preferred gender for the meat. For xiaolongbao or the juicy pork bun, if it has to be a male pig, it has to be castrated before it's dead. So oh. it wouldn't go. So so it is so it tastes better. How long did they have to kill? Like how, like, how did that? <laughs> yeah. Like, how did they figure out that it was the penis that was ruining the flavor? Cause we can taste that. <laughs> <laughs> if that's a if that's a female pork, <laughs> it doesn't have the oh. smelly. Flavor. Oh. I like the idea of like a Chinese chef being like, yep, it's been cast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our dick chopper is that good today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think that's because in China all the all the male pig are castrated oh, before they're okay. dead, but in Australia they mm. don't. They don't do this. And can you taste the difference? Yes. <gasps> no. Oh. Yeah, because if you don't put alcohol in it, the natural meat flavor will just comes out, and that's where you can tell the difference. So you're eating, and you're like, "This tastes like dick." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sometimes, but there's a say. <laughs> There's a thing among Chinese that if you go to Aussie restaurant, don't order pork because so, you don't know what they use. Oh. <laughs> but, yeah. but if you go to the Chinese restaurant, they're safe because they know. They know how to do they it. They know how to do it. I kind of love that. I feel like there's a lot of stuff that you could mine there between the differences between culture as well, which would mm. be very relatable and entertaining. Yeah. Mm. Like being Filipino, there's so much untapped stuff with our food and how it translates to the West. Mm. And I'm sure there's like heaps in China as well. Yeah. Yeah. If you castrated men, they might also be less smelly. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point because in China there is castrated men mm. who serves emperor because there the emperor will lives all <coughs> with all his wives, so there's no real men in the palace. So it has to be castrated men to be to to, to service. To <laughs> like when people are really poor and they couldn't afford a living, they just send their kids to become. That's Whoa. a tough conversation to have with your son. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to have some other things as comparison and also what Aussies are thinking. That's really important because mm. sometimes I found my stories a little bit too foreign. <laughs> I need something like that you can be feel relatable. Someone gave me an ultimatum the other day and they're like, you can only eat one type of meat out of pork, chicken and beef mm. for the rest of your life what would you do and I was like I don't want to live in that world um, <laughs> <laughs> I'll kill myself, I'll kill myself. <laughs> that's the type of bit where like I would hear that and then I would be talking to everyone about it at Yo Club we believe in farm fresh organically produced jokes from farm fresh organically produced comedians cracked to perfection for your enjoyment